Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be the weekly spread for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Sagittarius. So Sagittarius, this is going to be for December the 17th through the 23rd, 2018 for you. Spirit, what do you have for Sagittarius, sun, moon, and rising signs? Thank you, Spirit. All right, you guys. Let's Give me just a moment and to get your cards out, and then we will go over them. Thank you so much, Sagittarius. There we go. Very nice. Interesting. All right. From the bottom of the deck, this is your overall energy for this week, Sagittarius. It's the Nine of Swords. Uh, this is a feeling of worry, stress, um, keeping you up all night. You're worrying and stressing out about something so much. I will uh, clarify further with that in just a moment. I'm going to go ahead and pull you an energy oracle as well, Sagittarius. So, Spirit, what do you have for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Sagittarius for December the 17th through the 23rd? 2018 thank you so much spirit all right the temple path you guys very nice very nice i'll set that right there i'm gonna also pull for you guys um a life purpose uh card as well to get further clarification of this reading spirit what do you have for sagittarius sun moon and rising sign for the 17th through the 23rd of December 2018. Thank you, Spirit. Leadership. Take charge of this situation. Very nice. This is what your angels want you to know right now. Sagittarius, this is beautiful. Wow. That is very nice. All right. Give me just a second. Sagittarius. Let me look at your cards here. Let's see. All right. So let's go ahead. Let's start with your oracle cards. Let's take a look here. So, I mean, I'm... Okay. I'm getting very strongly right now that a lot of you may be starting a new spiritual path. And it's, uh, I feel like the angels are telling you to go ahead and take charge of this situation. Um, because the temple path with the energy oracle, Sagittarius, um, this represents being guided along um, a, a spiritual journey, a path, um, being guided you're you're being guided by the divine look at do you see all of these all of these orbs these bright orbs all right these orbs are guiding you um now you very possible you you could be having a conflict right now of which path that you're wanting to take or go down you could have been raised a certain uh way of a uh, uh, religious way or or however your background is and it you may be wanting to take a path that's different, possibly. And there could be some conflict, um, possibly, from this. Um, the angels are telling you to take charge of this situation. So I really feel like you're being, you need to take, I really feel like, and, and this is the divine also, as well, like I said, Sag. I mean, this is the divine talking to you right here. You see all those orbs I mean, this is just beautiful. A beautiful card. Very, very nice. And I, I really feel strongly led that, you know, you already may be receiving downloads. Um, you may be talking to past loved ones. Uh, may possibly even ascended masters. You may be, I mean, literally. They're, they're, they're really, they're trying to contact you. They're all around you. Now, whether you're aware of that right now or not, I mean, that you, you, it's very well possible you may not be aware that you have the, the spirit world trying to contact you. But, I mean, this is your spiritual purpose, all right, and, and, and support card right here. You, you, 
you have a purpose and you have leadership skills. I mean, that comes into play when we look at look at this right here. Okay, you have angels saying, you, you know, you have this already. You just need to take charge of the situation. Then when you have the temple path coming here, this is a life purpose card as well. It, it's taking, I mean, this is so interesting because this is the life purpose deck right here. This is telling you, you have a purpose in life to, to walk down a path of, uh, you know, whether it's religion or um, it's, it's spirituality. That's the word I'm trying to find to, to say, Sagittarius. So with these, these two cards already, with this reading, have gained so much information. Um, this could be causing a lot of stress at night, trying to figure out which direction to go, um, how you might want to be able to tell someone that you're doing something different. You may be afraid of how other may be, others may react to the decision that you're, you're wanting to make. Um, I feel like that, that could be a big role in that right there. Because right here, here's this slow-moving energy with this Prince of Pentacles in the situation. Now, Sag, you may be dealing with a uh, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. But I really feel like this is your energy right here. You're moving slow. But this is what you're thinking. This is what's crowning you right now, right? This is what you know. And I really feel like this is you right here. This is what you know, okay? You are the king of wands. You're, you've got that passion, that desire, enthusiastic. You're honest. This is a leader right here. And we have leadership right here. You have this in you to be able to do this. And I, I feel like something is holding you back. You, you're being very slow, moving, cautious about it. Maybe you're doing your homework. Maybe you're studying about it. How, whatever it is that you're doing, I really feel like you're going to make sure this is the path that you are going to... This is something you're taking very seriously. Uh, for some of you, um, I mean, literally, this could be like uh, um, something you're fixing to... Um, go in and devout, you know, the, the rest of your life, you know, you're going to commit to, uh, the rest of your life, and you're just, you're wanting to make sure you have all the information, because, and that this is completely what you want to do this, because here in your subconscious, and it's funny that we get the Queen of Cups, right, for your subconscious, okay, the water, water element here, um, you could be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Uh, I really feel like uh, this is your intuition here. This is what you... I feel like you may have some water in your charts. Your rising or your moon sign could be uh, a water sign. Because I really feel like um, you are... You're, you're going by your, your gut. You're using your instincts. You, you are being guided... Um, I, I, I just, this is a very intuitive card right here. This queen is a very intuitive queen, right? She knows things in the dark that others, you know, I mean, she knows things in the dark and in the light. I mean, others have to have the sun shine the light in the dark in order to know, but she already knows. And I feel like this is many of you. Sag, I feel like this is, I'm talking about many of you that, that have this energy, this intuitiveness. And in your recent past, we have this, the ferulet, right? And this is, uh, this is literally, this is a very magical card right here. This is a very, uh, this is also about moderation and balance, uh, striking a balance. But this is also magic. This is alchemy, spiritual alchemy, um, this is, uh, like I said, some of you could be working, uh, maybe studying the occult. You could be working on spiritual alchemy. This could be what you're thinking about doing. And you could come from maybe a Christian or Catholic background and they don't agree with this kind of uh, path. Very well could be. I mean, this is going to resonate differently for, um, this is for a lot of people, so... Take what resonates, leave what doesn't for someone else, you guys. Now, 
we have Serono's showing up here, and this is the devil, okay? And we have these two people that's, uh, you know, they're sleeping here on the ground in the forest and unaware of the devil back there. I, I really feel like, you know, you have two major arcana cards here. With this one being in your recent past and with this one being in your uh, new, circumstance, new circumstance, Sag, I feel like I don't see this being nothing negative. I feel like this is your shadow. I feel like many of you are seeking out your shadow side. Um, you meet the devil. You, you meet the... You, I, I mean that in... A, how do I word this? When you, when you seek the dark, when you seek your shadow side, um, a lot of people think that that is of the devil. It could just be a mindset thing right now, kind of maybe how you're looking at it. You could be setting off, like I said, on this path of spiritual alchemy, that once you move forward on that path, you will understand and realize that, you know, this... It's not a it's not a negative thing is what I'm trying to say without getting going off into something completely different than what I'm doing right now. Um, I, I really feel like many of you are starting a new path or wanting to start this new path. You've been called. It's um, you've been divinely called on this path, and it's telling you you're going to have to in order for you to move forward. You may have to seek out your shadow side. Uh, we all have one. If someone tells you they don't, they're crazy. Everybody has a dark side. And its uh, I feel like it's telling you you need to go ahead and face it. That's the only way you can keep, continue to move forward on your path. Um, and it's telling you have everything you need, you guys. Take charge of the situation. I mean, you have leadership skills. This is a leader right here. And you already know that. Um, like I said, I feel like for many of you, this is a, a decision where maybe... Um, it, it's maybe you feel like others are not going to accept it or they're going to look at you differently. And I'm going to just put this out here right now. At the end of the day, the only person that you have to be responsible and, uh, you know, for, you know, what it is in life that you want. You, you're the only one that has control over your life and your destiny. And if you let fear and doubt or not being accepted by others because of a path that you take spiritually, you're going to have to face that demon in order to move past that and get over these sleepless nights. Because at the end of the day, there's nobody there that has your back but you. Okay? Yes, we have loved ones. Yes, we have family. Yes, we have uh, some people have partners. I'm just saying only you can do your path. No one can do it for you. And there shouldn't be anyone saying how you should do yours. That's what I'm trying to say. Sagittarius, this is very interesting. Please comment and let me know how this resonates with you. This is a very spiritual reading. for. Uh, this is for someone out there. Um, I'm very glad I was able to be able to do this reading for you. Um, I want to thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. This has been truly been a blessing for me to be able to do these readings. Um, I'm just, I send you love and wishes and blessings. And I thank you so much from the bottom of my heart, Sagittarius. Um, I will see you guys next week. And I thank you so much. Bye-bye.